Hi everyone, my name is Jeff and today I'll be showing you how to do a remote access from the Zen mobile server to Android um, devices. Right? The first thing that you need to do is to actually create a policy to be pushed down um, to your Android devices. Okay, So basically over here we actually have a policy called tunnel. Okay, So in this tunnel we can select um, Android or the Windows Mobile. So basically you will give this tunnel a name and from there you can actually turn on use this tunnel for remote support. Okay, So that's the only thing that you have to configure um, fundamentally. Um, you can configure the, the basic timeouts and whether to use an SSL um, and to actually select whether the cellular connections will actually bypass this tunnel. Okay, um, I've already pre-created a policy over there so um, that's the same policy that I have here okay I have given it the name uh, remote app tunnel okay so you need to take note of this particular name that you have given your policy um, and I'll explain why in a little bit okay um, the next thing that you need to remember when you're actually doing this it only works for Samsung safe devices so you will need to actually configure um, the Samsung API is to be enabled on the delivery group. Um, namely, what that means is you actually need to create um, connection policies as well as um, push down the Samsung safe API keys. Okay. Um, after you have done that um, and enrolled your device, you basically push down um, the policies to the device and make sure that it is active. So over here, I've got an Android um, operating system that's on version 5. And as you can see here, um, the assigned policies are actually pushed down to the device. Okay. Um, after that, what you need to do is basically you actually need to download um, software to actually do this remote support on a Windows device. Okay. So over here, uh, what I've got is a Windows um, 7. Okay. So basically, you actually download um, this software called Zen Mobile. Uh, remote support installer and run through the basic uh, installer to be installed on a Windows device and what you have here is you actually get this remote support and when you actually call up the remote support screen um, this is what you see so basically you actually need to create a connection to your Zen mobile server in the first instance okay so I've already pre-created this instance so this is basically a Windows 7 um, that's actually sitting within a routable um, network to my Zen Mobile servers. So this is the actual Zen Mobile server IP address. Uh, notice that it's an internal IP address and not the public FQDN or public IP address. Okay, uh, I'm using port 443 and the instance will be ZDM. So this might change uh, depending on what you have given your Zen Mobile installation. Okay, and take a look at this. As you can see here, um, this is actually the same name that's actually configured on my device manager that I've um, actually pushed down the same policy. So remember over here, remote app tunnel, you need to have these two names synchronized with each other. Okay, If you do not, um, it does not work. Okay, The next thing is I'm actually configuring it to use the SSL connection. So as you can see, I've got a green status here, which means that we are good to go. Uh, and if you click on connect, um, what you see here is the entire list of um, devices that are connected. So as you can see here, the one that's in green um, is actually the one that I have uh, enabled remote access and the others are actually not connected. So over here, as you can see, um, there are a whole bunch of things that you can configure. Um, for example, device control, file browsers, you can actually push down and install software from this console. Um, there is a task manager as well, so you can actually see the running tasks. Uh, this is not a, a Windows system, so what that means is you can't uh, do any registry edit, uh, but you can gather the system information from the particular device. Um, and if VoIP is enabled, you can actually do a remote chat with the user, uh, or you can actually do a type, uh, a type of a real time chat with the user on the mobile device. And as you can see here, um, there's a skin editor. So if you click on this, um, basically what happens is you can actually give 
um, some skinning to the interface um, from an administrator perspective, right? So we can actually do a chat um, directly with your end users when you select the chat function from here, okay? So I can actually do a chat, right? So I can actually start a chat with my users, hi, and my users can actually reply me. Okay, that's a reply from my user in that environment. Okay, um, you can also browse the files that are actually available on the um, Samsung device that I have over here. Um, and you can actually uh, install some software. So if you've got a APK file, you can browse with that and install the file. Okay, so that's it for my quick demo on how to access um, the remote support on Zen Mobile. Thank you.